Hey folks, how are we doing today? It's Hillary, the Freightless the Marketing Mom. Glad you're able to join me today. I'm super excited. Today is Wednesday. Just taking off that notification as we have um, gone live. Um, super excited to join you today because I want to share and I'm speaking to my mom. So you know sometimes I do have these mom type um, trainings, videos. I'm sorry for the light if it seems too bright. Um, it looks kind of bright on my end. Anyway, so um, talking today about, you know, something that every mom probably goes through, and that's the overwhelm factor. And I'm talking to the moms, especially those who are, you know, you're running a business, all right? So I'm just getting, um, you're running a business and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I've got this to do, I've got that to do, and I've got this to do. And to be perfectly honest with you, the reason I'm talking about this is because yesterday I had that type of overwhelm factor going on especially from the business side right because you're thinking you have this whole list of things to do you got to get this done you've got deadlines and all of this but then the overwhelm came about where you're thinking about oh my goodness i have all of these other home things to do all right so as a mom building a business you're not just thinking about one thing okay and it's something that you know we we forget all right to be quite to be perfectly honest we forget that yeah um we're not just you know building a business we've got a life and you know what they call that like everything comes together unity of life sort of thing all right and we have to keep in mind that each thing has a priority now i've spoken about this before possibly on another live all right and for those of you who don't know me i am the marketing mom i'm a social media manager digital marketing strategist business coach and trainer and i work particularly with moms all right and i work with moms who are building a business trying to build a business online using the tactics of social media and their tactics yes but there's also a lot of mindset that goes along with understanding how to build a business and be a good mom all right and that is something that is crucial Okay, for the, and many of you know we're at almost our, our third daughter is going to be around here in a few in a few months. So it's not that you know life runs itself over here and you run your business over here. No, you've got to figure out a way to bring them together. You've got to figure out a way for them to match for you to be able to do the things that you want to do as a good wife, as a good mother, and as a good business owner. All right, and my light is just going crazy today. Anyway, so that overwhelm factor. Now I know as a mother, and even if even if you're not a mother, I know sometimes you get to that point where you've just got a million things to do and you're trying to think to figure out how am I gonna get this done and then all of a sudden instead of thinking about the one thing, you're thinking about all the million. And one of my good friends yesterday, you know, um, I sent her a message and it was almost like I was sending her a rhetorical question because I knew what the answer was. But in that split second of overwhelm, as we see, you know, I had that feeling of what am I going to do? Just get into action. And the reality is you had that. I had that quick second of overwhelm. And instantly as I did something, as I did something to start chipping away at my list of things to do, all of a sudden the overwhelm feeling started to go away now that was on the business side and the reality is if you've got kids you know three under five or i can't remember remember they used to call this thing three under three and people were just like whoa that's a lot of kids right but three under five is the same thing that's a lot of kids and they they have different needs at that age okay so that your energy your ability to serve your family and serve your kids is now split okay so dealing with this overwhelm factor could feel like you know you've got a weight over your shoulder but the reality is all you've got to do is one thing and literally once you do that one thing all of a sudden it's just like everything starts to flow and you start to figure out okay here's what I've got to do all right so you want to always when you when your back is against the wall, you feel like, okay, I don't know what else to do. Your back is against the wall. I want you to sit, take, just take two seconds. It literally takes two seconds. And I want you to do, not think. I want you to do. Because a lot of the times, we as women, we overthink things. Right? We overthink, um, you know, okay, how am I going to get this done? Like, you know, for example, if you want to invite friends over, okay? 
you know that you've got your business hours you've set your business hours you've set your family time hours and you want to have like a girl, girl's night out all right just you and your 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 girlfriends you know no husbands no children and you're trying to figure out okay well where we're gonna go what am I gonna wear who am I how am I gonna get everybody there at the same time are we gonna come over to my house well then I'm gonna have to clean the house and then I'm gonna have to bring all the food here and then I'm gonna have to cater that's thinking and we as women we overthink things all right what you need to do is just pick up the phone and call and say hey we're going out Thursday night you set the date you set the time and then let everything else plan itself but once you take the action all of a sudden the action drives your your decisions of what's going to happen because if you know it's Thursday you know it can't be at your house you, you you're gonna jump in your car if you know it's supposed to be a girl's night out why is it even an option for it to be at your house okay because you still got the kids you still got the husband there all right so sometimes what happens with overwhelm is not the things that we have to do but the thinking that we put into it the overthinking that we put into things all right so in business you know I, I, as I propose every day you write your six things to do your six most important things to do last night I wrote six things to do all right and this morning I woke up I knew what my six things were that I was going to do all right so you wonder why did I have an overwhelmed feeling well this tends to happen when you have what we call interventions or meetings all right so if you're meeting with you know a team or a group of people and then all of a sudden you have all these wonderful ideas sprewing that have nothing to do with your six things to do list that you created in the morning or last night you know first either first thing in the morning or last thing the night before all right and then all of a sudden these things are just coming at you and you're thinking but my brain is churning with all of these ideas and I need to get them done slow down and document okay and this was my my overwhelmed feeling we had a meeting with a social media with our social media team and basically we had tons of ideas what did I do? I sat down and I summarized all the ideas in a document and then I let it go because it's, it was not on my six things to do list. All right. And that is what happens when we're getting overwhelmed. So when you look at the, the, the children's bedroom or you look at the pile of laundry or you look at, you know, the client work that's building up, just do one thing. That's all you need to do. Do one thing and then you're back to your, oh, Here's how I have to make it out, all right? And list, I, I've been a, prom a proponent of this for, for forever, okay? You can't run your family, you can't run your business, you can't do a lot of things without having lists, all right? We have grocery lists, we have, you know, cleaning lists, we have business lists. A lot of the ideas and a lot of the principles that are taught to entrepreneurs, especially inside of network marketing, but they are taught to them from a business standpoint. If we only applied them to our life, we would see the difference. You know, very simple things like picking the right um, service provider, okay? In a business environment, you would never just go with one person okay you would actually get three quotes and you would get samples and you will do all of these things but somehow in our life we just go to the person we know well we know that person did it last time so let's just go there but we know they also did a bad job right but we still go in there all right so we've got to apply a lot of what we learn for business to our life when you're overwhelmed about your life dishes in the sink laundry to do just stand up in front of the sink and start washing the dishes and then all of a sudden you're like okay you pause and then you realize wait the washing machine washes the clothes i don't do it anymore we're living in 2018 so again that feeling of overwhelm starts to disappear once action is taken and that's what you need to focus on action especially when you feel like your back is against the wall stop thinking for two seconds and act and then all of a sudden, your overwhelmed feeling is going to disappear. Trust me, it's happened to me time and time again. It happened to me just yesterday. Just yesterday, and all I did was acted, and all of a sudden, everything was honky-dory. 
okay so have a great day for if you want to work with me build your own business online visit hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy i'm e i'm really excited to meet with you hear what your ideas are if you have your own business already i want to be able to take you to the next level okay have a great day and i will see you friday bye everybody